We talked previously about a specific virus known as the varicella zoster virus, and that can cause two conditions, one being chickenpox and the other being shingles. So let's look at chickenpox prevention through vaccination. Now, as a reminder, the varicella zoster virus typically infects individuals when they are kids, and that can lead to the most common symptom of chickenpox, which is red, itchy bumps. And an often consequence of those red, itchy bumps can be scarring on different parts of a kid's body. However, to prevent that infection from actually occurring, a vaccine was developed in the late 1990s called Varivax, and that uses a live weakened form of the virus, which means that in the vaccine, there is a live form of the varicella zoster virus. However, it's been weakened so it can't actually cause infection to an individual. However, what it does is it's broken down by the body into its protein components. Then our immune system is able to recognize those different proteins associated with the varicella zoster virus and create memory against them. So if a kid comes in contact with the chickenpox virus in the future, they'll be able to fight it off before it has a chance to make them sick. Now typically, the scheduling of these doses is a two-dose series, and one would receive their first dose at about one year of age, and then a second dose between four to six years of age. However, individuals who are over 13 years old can receive both doses about two months apart. Now there is an additional vaccine that we've talked about previously that combines a variety of different infectious diseases, and this is known as MMRV which includes measles, mumps, rubella, as well as the chickenpox vaccine, all in one shot.